More than 20,000 people in San Diego County have HIV or AIDS, and about one person a day here is newly diagnosed. Despite effective treatment, there's no cure for the disease. Joining me with the lingering challenges and a personal account of living with the disease are my guest, Ian Johnson, Special Events Director at San Diego's LGBT Center, and Dr. Dan Lee, HIV specialist at the Owen Clinic in Hillcrest. And Dr. Lee, what do HIV infection rates look like today in San Diego County, and are there certain trends you're seeing? Yeah, the HIV infection rate um, has been, uh, I think, fairly stable. Um, there's maybe a slight decline in terms of the actual rates themselves, but certain populations are, are being uh, disproportionately affected. Uh, primarily, I think women are, we're starting to see more cases of women, and especially here in San Diego County, because we're so close to the border, we see a lot more Latino women. Um, but certainly African-American women are also affected as well, too, disproportionately. That's the trend you're seeing now. Well, we've heard a lot about lately about this undetectable HIV. What does undetectable mm -hmm. HIV mean? Yeah, so undetectable uh, actually refers to the uh, viral load, and the viral load tells us how much virus is in a person's bloodstream. Uh, and so when someone is undetectable due to being on HIV medications, then it is at a level that we cannot detect in the blood. However, this doesn't necessarily mean that this is a cure, as HIV can uh, exist in other places, uh, such as in the lymph nodes, and uh, the brain, and the liver, and other places. So it's important to still get tested and follow-up treatment? Uh, absolutely. I see. Ian, uh, you've been living with HIV for more than a decade, I understand. How has that changed your life? Um, it's, I mean, I've been through my moments. <laughs> uh, when I first found out my diagnosis, uh, it was rough. I had a couple dark years, um, and I think it was because the stigma that's associated with it, and I couldn't handle it. Um, but overall, I mean, my health, I mean, despite when I was first infected, I, I was very sick. Um, but then, you know, once I started my medications um, and became undetectable, it is like a life-changing experience in the sense of, I mean, I, I couldn't deal with my status. Um, and then once I started these medications and became undetectable, it literally is, it's a liberating experience. Um, and it makes you just, you know, HIV is just a thing. It's just the thing that I live with. And uh, you recently talked about your experience in the LGBT Weekly. Uh, why did you go public with your journey? This is back in September. Yeah, it's fairly new. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of my close people in my life knew that I was. Um, I'm very active in my community, um, and I think I just wanted to, to get out and let people know that, hey, uh, being undetectable, is, it's a great thing. Um, and I want people to know not to be scared, to go in and get tested, um, because there are the medications that control this um, and make you live a great life. And uh, Dr. <laughs> Lee brought this up, the stigma. Do you think <laughs> a stigma still exists? Sure, absolutely. I see it every day uh, with with patients, even people who've been uh, positive for a long time. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely something that uh, people have to deal with. I think on an individual basis, um, everyone is so um, you know affected by how they might be perceived as having this disease and. Uh, many people will feel that this is still a gay disease, but as I've kind of mentioned, I think that uh, other segments of, of society are, are absolutely being affected. Now, when a celebrity goes public with the news, like Charlie Sheen uh, this week, that they have HIV, I'll start with you, Ian. Do you think that changes public perception of the disease? What do you think that does? Um, I think that it, I think it, the great thing about it is it's bringing up in conversation and we're using it as an opportunity to educate. Um, there was a point where people stopped talking about HIV. Um, that's when we were seeing like new infections because people felt that people uh, that others were not dying from this disease. So when people like Charlie Sheen are actually coming out and speaking about it, the conversation is there again and it's you know, we're telling each other, hey, you know, you can live a long, healthy life. So it's an educational opportunity. Do you do you think the same thing, uh, Dr. <laughs> Lee? What can you add to that? Or do you think it could have some detrimental impacts? Well, I, I think uh, I, I agree with Ian. I, I think that this is uh, 
good press in the sense of, of certainly uh, bringing this issue out to light. It's been quite a while since an athlete or anyone uh, has talked about HIV, and I, I do think that that's part of that is because of the success of our HIV medications, is that people have been living long, and so uh, I think we just don't talk about it anymore, and this really does open the dialogue. Well, it certainly did. Dr. Daniel Lee and Ian Johnson, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.